In this example, we're going to use jQuery UI to code a toggle button. Now, a toggle button is much like you would see here with a checkbox. And we're used to being able to click on a checkbox and it changes its state. A jQuery UI toggle button is going to work the exact same way. In fact, it's actually going to use the checkbox. If we switch over to our text editor, you notice I have an input of type checkbox. And it has all the information you expect for that checkbox, ID, name, and value. We also have a label, and this is very important with jQuery UI, with that we use the label with the for attribute to identify based upon the ID attribute for our ID. jQuery UI is going to use this in order to give us a label for our toggle button. Now I'm going to create a selector for our more info using the ID. And I'm simply going to use button, just as you expect with a regular button. Save this, switch to our editor, and when we reload, you'll see that it automatically changes taking our label information, converting that into a big toggle button. If I click on it, you'll notice that now it has a separate state. This is a state that the current theme uses to show that it's been selected. If I click on it one more time, you notice it reverts back to the unchecked or the up state. And that is how you create a toggle button inside of jQuery UI. One of the major advantages to using jQuery UI is the fact that if the user has JavaScript turned off, we still see our old form. So nothing is taken away. This is known as progressive enhancement, which is as the browser and as the user have certain things enabled, it will allow us to do more. So nothing ever goes away. The other major advantage of this is because nothing goes away, jQuery UI is making sure that the checkbox is still checked and unchecked appropriately. Therefore, if we click on the submit button, it will automatically go and process the form just as if no updates to UI had occurred. That way our form processor on the back end works exactly the same. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.